how the video number 501 and I just did uh, my books for uh, July and I know a lot of people uh, that uh, want to pursue a career in trucking you know they want to talk about money but for some reason not everybody wants to talk about it but uh, here on my channel SMD5231 you can find this information uh, recently there was a gentleman from Spain uh, asking me about the work in Western Canada, you know, like in Northwest. And he was really excited when he sent me a, uh, an ad he found online for a job uh, as a tanker driver in, uh, in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. And it was uh, advertised to pay uh, anywhere from 55 to uh, $75,000. But he's from Spain, right? And he says, hey, $75,000, that's pretty good. I said, well, as long as you know where Yellow Knife is, you know. So I'm in Ontario. And, of course, I, I do spend time in, in the West because that's where the money is. That's where the loads go from U.S. into Northwest Canada. But just to show, uh, to show you that you don't have to uh, work in Northwest to make some money, uh, here's my numbers for uh, July, July 2013. So uh, my trucking income was uh, twenty thousand two hundred twenty-seven dollars eleven cents. That's two zero two two seven point one one. I got uh, sales tax uh, back, uh, which happens when I buy uh, stuff and like uh, buy fuel in Western Canada. Uh, we, I can claim that sales tax, and sometimes that's pretty high because of the uh, you know high prices on fuel. And repairs. Any repairs I do in Canada, I get back the HST back. So my HST credit for July was uh, five hundred eighty-five dollars ninety-seven cents, and the income I made on YouTube from advertising, thanks everybody for watching, is uh, four hundred forty-seven dollars fifty-seven cents. So the total income this driver and YouTuber made in July from trucking. YouTube and uh, sales tax credits is $21,260.65. Now I spent a lot of money in repairs, uh, $2,590.78, and that's because I, I paying, I'm paying for the tires. You know those new tires I got uh, about a month back, every week, uh, Landstat deducts I think like 350 bucks. So that's a big portion of this $2,590 is uh, tires. Uh, on fuel, I spent $5,922.57. I paid uh, $158.50 for tolls, because a lot of highways, uh, uh, you have to pay tolls in US and if, when you cross the border. And each, each of these trips are across the border. You have to pay toll. Uh, insurance, uh, both personal and for a trailer and, and truck, cost me 835 bucks and one cent. I paid 806 dollars for the trailer. It's the lease that uh, I buy buy out for one dollar after like three years. Uh, licensing cost me 136 bucks and 51 cents, and I paid 281 dollars and 76 cents for internet and cell phone. That's both in the U.S. and Canada, and 72 bucks was spent on hotels, which I can claim because it was uh, during my uh, trucking trips. And um, because I'm getting a new trailer, I spent 2,000 bucks in on, in various fees for the loans to get the new trailer. So I call them loan fees, and I spent uh, 150 bucks uh, for uh, truck parking. So total revenue was uh, $21,260.65 and total expenses were uh, $12,953.13. So net income, total revenue minus total expenses is $8,307.52. And I just uh, checked my mileage uh, on July 1st. Uh, my odometer was a 721213 and on July 31st my odometer was 731155 which means that I did 9,942 miles 9,942 miles and the net income was $8,307.52 so that was my uh, money report for July 2013 
pulling a flat deck trailer most of the time. Yeah, in July I, I didn't do any loads with the step deck with the new step deck. This was for the with for the 53 flat tandem. July 2013, uh, both trips go across uh, across the border between uh, U.S. and Canada, and I'm leased to Landstar. Thanks for watching. Be safe.